Right now, I'm gonna share a tip with you that's gonna help you get much, much smoother masking inside of Photoshop. Hey Cafe Crew, Colin Smith here from Photoshop Cafe. Let's get started. And by the way, if you haven't yet subscribed, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, and become part of the Cafe Crew. All right, so I'm gonna show you something of masking that very few people realize. So we're just gonna use this picture of a woman and then a cat on top. So this is not so much about the artwork as this is just understanding the technique I wanna show you. So the first thing we wanna do is create a hidden mask or an inverted mask. So hold down the Alt or the Option key and then go in the Layers panel and click on Create Mask. What that does is it creates a black mask which hides the contents of the layer. Now to bring the back the contents of the layer, we're gonna paint white in here. So let me just hit the D key, reset the foreground background colors. Let's grab a brush and we're gonna start to paint. Now, some people use flow, some people use opacity. Check out my tutorial, it talks about the difference. I'm gonna drop the flow down to 10% and we're gonna start to paint in a little bit here. So what happens when you want to paint in a specific value, like maybe you wanna do 20% here? This is a mistake that most people do. Most people drop the opacity down to 20% and that is wrong and I'm gonna show you exactly why. Let's create a new layer. And I'm just gonna fill this with black and then we're gonna create an inverted mask. Okay, so this is just basically we're gonna paint on the black on the side so you can clearly see what's going on. So let's turn the flow and opacity up. By the way, opacity is basically how transparent it is and the flow is how fast you get there. So how a layer mask works is simple. When you paint with white, it reveals the contents of that particular layer. If you paint with black, it hides the contents of that particular layer. Check out my other tutorial on masking basics. Let's continue. What most people would do is if they wanted to paint 20% in, they're gonna drop this opacity down to 20%. And this is wrong, and I'll show you why. Okay, so we're gonna paint with white. And as I paint with white here, we're gonna start to paint 20%. Now, it doesn't matter if you're using a mouse or a graphics tablet. I'm using a graphics tablet right now. But here's the thing. Yes, it's adding 20%, but if I lift and then I apply again, it adds another 20%. If I lift, I add again, it adds another 20%, another 20. And then at this point, to try and get everything smooth and even is very, very difficult. So opacity is not the way to do that. I'm gonna turn the opacity all the way up rather than using opacity. So go under the color picker this is how it normally looks, but choose this item here. This is gonna give us brightness. Now choose 20. So rather than choosing an opacity, we're choosing a shade of gray with 20% white. Click OK. Now watch what happens. If I go up to the other side here and I start to paint and I lift it and I paint on top of it, look at this, I'm getting exactly 20%. Even if I go all over the place here, it brings us back to 20. But this does even more, because when we use opacity or flow, what it's gonna do is it's just essentially gonna keep stacking more and more paint. Because we're working digitally, if we're on our mask, remember this was supposed to be 20? Now if I paint, this will just take it straight back to 20. So if it's lighter, it'll darken it. If it's darker, it will lighten it and look how smooth and perfect we can get that 20%. Now, if we combine this with flow, and let's take our flow down to a very low amount, like I'm gonna do shift, and then I'm just gonna type in 05 really fast. With the shift key, that's gonna give me 5%. Now, what this is gonna do, I'll just paint over our, our model here with the 20%. What it's gonna do is it's still gonna get to that 20% but it's, it's gonna get there a little bit slower. So we can start to blend and fade it, but it's never gonna go beyond that 20%. So this enables us to blend these edges and get them beautiful and smooth and precise. All right, so 
how would this apply on the image? Simple. Let's choose the mask. And if I wanted to create 20% fur in this area, I can just go in here and just paint. And I'm going to get this beautiful, smooth transition exactly the amount of transparency I want. I don't think it's enough. So let's tap on there. And what if we change it to 40%? Just type in 40. Paint on those edges. And now look at this, we're going to get 40% of that fur. And in fact, let's just turn the flow all the way up. So it just gets it instantly. So you can see what I'm doing. And see what we're doing now is we're getting 40% of that. Look at that, just a little bit of texture there. Let's do the same on top of the cheeks. So why don't you try this method for yourself next time you're trying to create a little bit of transparency in your mask and you'll find that this technique will get you much smoother, more even masks. So I'm curious guys, did you know this already? Was this something new? Let me know in the comments underneath. And by the way, if you're new, welcome to Photoshop Cafe. And I noticed only 20% of people that watch videos are subscribed. So do me a favor and hit that subscribe button and that way you won't miss any of my concise tutorials. So anyway, guys, I hope you liked this. If you did, hit that like button. It helps us with the algorithm on YouTube. And until next time, I'll see you at the cafe.